What's up everyone? It's Parmesy. Today I'm sharing this eye makeup look. I posted on my Insta story a week ago and 93% of you guys voted for this look to be on my channel. So thank you for voting. And um, it's just this purple eye makeup is just perfect for the holiday season. It's around the corner, it's coming up. Sparkle and shimmer are always fun in holiday seasons. And it's just perfect for brown eyes in general. It just makes your brown eyes to pop. So I'm gonna stop talking and let's jump into this tutorial and I hope you enjoy this look. If you do, please give me some thumbs up and a subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys. First, I primed my eyes. I'm applying this MAC Berry Color Eyeshadow all over my lid as my base with a blending brush going for windshield motion back and forth. Going with this beautiful purple with red undertone eyeshadow on the center of my lid. Since both these eyeshadows have red undertone, they blend perfectly together. They look so good together that it's literally like a match made in heaven. I'm going for a very deep purple tone on the outer corner of my eyes, packing the eyeshadow on the outer corners right below the crease. Then extend the remaining product on the brush into my crease to make that V or C shape for more of a cat eye look. Since I'm not wearing any wing eyeliner in this look, I'm trying to smoke out the outer corner to extend my eyes and give them a little lift basically. <laughs> As you see, I have a heavy hand, so makeup remover wipes are coming handy in my life. I clean up the mess I made earlier, and then I go back with the same blending brush and just blend out the eyeshadow together to get rid of any harsh edges. I like to put a little concealer in the inner corner of my eyes to make a base for the eyeshadow before completing my under eye base basically. This way the shadow would pop more and won't move throughout the day. So I'm blending it in with um, the beauty blender. For the gold part, I'm using my favorite creamy gold sparkle shadow. Oh my god, look at it. Shining like a diamond. Patting it with my finger on the corner of the eyes towards the center, but definitely below the crease. Guys, you guys don't want to go over the crease. It'll move throughout the day and it's ain't pretty, girl. Ain't pretty. Going over the cream shadow with a gel sparkle liner to make the shimmer pop even more. Let them dry before moving on to the next step. Fill in the waterline with a purple pencil liner. This just makes the eye makeup very 
put together gives a solid base to the lashes. Also, purple complements the brown eyes so it makes your eye look bigger and prettier. I'm brushing my brows upward with the spoolie, then filling my sparse area in short strokes. Run the brush again to blend everything together and get rid of any harsh lines. Just a random tip guys, if you're filling your brows with pencil like me, hold the pencil in an angle rather than straight to avoid putting too much pressure and creating harsh lines. Going in with my face highlighter to highlight my brow bone and the tear duct, take a small flat eyeshadow brush, dip it in the highlighter and apply underneath the eyebrow arch and the brow bone. The tear duct's highlights open up the eyes in a gorgeous way. Moving on to the lashes, you know I love me some good lash primer, girl. Place the brush at the base of the lashes and gently sweep up to the tip. Going in with the mascara and doing the exact same thing over the primer. on to the face you know I'm all about the poreless skin girl I mean I wish it was possible to achieve anywho I'm priming my face with my favorite pores no more primer Of course, stupid me decide to wax my face literally right before the filming to ruin my skin. Going in with the spot corrector, I usually go first with a green color corrector over the red spot, but honestly, I couldn't find mine and I don't really want to pile any more layer on my sensitive skin. Buffing it out with the beauty blender, you see I'm almost out of this foundation this is my holy grail medium to full coverage foundation I usually put a tad bit of it on my hand and lightly dab and mix it with my finger to break down the molecules and warm up the foundation it's highly pigmented I add a couple of face oil to the foundation and mix them with my finger for more of a sheer to medium coverage. And dot my face with the excess product on my finger that I use to mix the foundation and oil together. Going in with a beauty blender and start dabbing it on my skin, I'm putting it on kind of like a tapping motion so the foundation goes into my skin. What's great about this foundation, guys? It glides on so easy and gives you that smooth, velvety finish. Can I use concealer to conceal my under eyes and apply it to kind of Highlight my face and bring life to my face. With the same beauty blender, I just bounce it in, starting from the inner corner of my eye while looking up to prevent any creases.
Now this is where the important step comes in. Of course, your primer, your foundation, your concealer all can be long lasting. But if you don't set it with the powder, it never gonna last. As you see, I like to start with setting my under eye area first. The trick is using a damp sponge, pick that powder up and set your under eye area and the area you would most likely get greasy, oily or creased. Finish up the eye makeup, going into the deep purple shadow we use to create the cat eye with an angle brush on the bottom outer corner super close to the lash line. Packing the berry shade on the bottom center close to the lash line and blend everything together. Moving on to the bronzer starting from hollows of the cheek and moving the brush upward to give a little natural lift to the face. Never forget the power of bottom lashes, ladies. Of course, I made a mess as always, so I let that mascara under my eye to dry out and I'll come back to it. Applying a tad bit of blush on the apple of my cheek, now going back to the mascara mess with the spoolie to get rid of it. I'm applying the same highlighter I used earlier on my eyes to highlight the high points of my face. Last but not least, I put on my favorite liquid lipstick and uh, voila, we are done with this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you did, uh, please share it with your friends and let me know what would you like to see in the future. Sharing this purple eyeshadow, eyeshadow, eyeshadow. She's sharing eyeshadow. Strip, 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 strip. Uh, right now on my channel. No, I don't. Why we are on my channel? Like seriously, if I'm not. <laughs> to um, pop the brown eyes, basically, I don't know how many times I'm gonna say, pop the brown eyes, pop the brown eyes. Blah, 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 blah. Thanks for voting if you voted. And um, what a bitch if you vote. <laughs> What's up everyone? It's Parmsy. <laughs> What's up? What's up? What's up?